Hey everyone, Tim here with Owl Eyes Wilderness Survival. I wanted to talk about this awesome buckskin quiver that I made. Uh, I had a lot of people ask about it, so I wanted to give a little bit of uh, more info than just a picture on my social media and uh, hope that it can inspire you to go and make your own. Um, so here's the arrows. I'm going to take them out so I can talk about them, but there's the arrows. I have a 30 and a half inch draw length, so this is about, oh, I don't know, 25 inch uh, long quiver. Uh, so I'll take those out. First thing I want to show is inside there. Oh, I put my atlatl in there as well. Um, so there is a little pocket in there. Um, you know, I put my atlatl in there, but uh, that runs the whole length of this is the stitching. So you can put a really long thing that's separate in there. Uh, but also in there I have a, um, this is moose rawhide. Sorry, I'm not going to take it out because it was a pain in the butt to put in there. So uh, it's moose rawhide and all the way down in the bottom there is another, um, it's a circle and then it over, it just turned into an oval as it went on my back. But um, there's a circle of moose rawhide sewn to the bottom and then I packed two layers of felted wool down all the way in the bottom just to cushion the um, arrows a little bit. So th with this, if it rains, uh, this is going to get soft. So the only downfall with using rawhide is um, that if it gets wet, it's going to suck. So the buckskin is going to be fine, but the rawhide is going to suck. So I just have to be careful not to use it in the rain. Um, so I made that tube um, in the beginning and what I did is this was just a big rectangle and I did all the pockets before I sewed it all up and I sewed it inside out and I put the um, the fringe on and then turned it you know right side what outside in what I don't know inside out what's the opposite of that but I turned it back to how, how it looks here um, and then did everything else I did the strap um, on the outside this was really really careful so this is the only thing that I didn't personally tan this is just old uh, I'm sure it's just chemical tanned leather that somebody gave me but I actually ran out of buckskin um, I go around and I gather um, deer hides from hunters who would throw them away uh, in the uh, fall so I tan those I just use egg yolks I did get some brains though so hopefully um, I can get some more because I need more buckskin <laughs> So what I did is I first put, first I did this pocket uh, here, that long pocket on the inside. Um, I put my atlatl in there. It fits in there pretty well. Um, if the zombie apocalypse happens, I'll put my machete in there. So if I run out of arrows, I'll be able to whip that out of there. Um, and I put the fringe on. That's probably why I ran out of buckskin. It's kind of a waste, but it looks cool. Uh, one thing I did add that is kind of just camouflaged as fringe, but this is actually... Um, a tie so I can actually tighten that up. Let me just uh, pinch that between my legs there so we can actually tighten this up. And uh, you know, if I was, I don't know, running or whatever, hiking or something, I can actually um, tighten up my arrows so that they don't shake around or don't come out. And I did these pockets. My only regret with these pockets is this big one uh, because. I wish what I did is put a banner of buckskin on the outside so that the pocket was a little bit more 3D because it is really hard to get in there. Um, I can fit things in there, but I can't get my hand in there. So if I put small stuff in there, it might get lost. It would be a pain to uh, pull it back out. Uh, but these pockets are great. This one's good because this buckskin is really thin, so it kind of stretches out. But in there I have my uh, archery glove. Um, I made this out of buckskin. Um, I can't put it on because I have one hand to... Let me see if I can do that. Um, well, yeah, either way, that's that. I made that out of buckskin too. Cool archery glove there. And then I just have my other... Um, my old leather finger tab. I like the glove a little bit better, um, but these work too. So if you only have a small piece of leather, you could make a little finger tab like that. Uh, deer antler buttons. Um, and then this one up here, I just put a... Uh, I don't even know what I have in here. Let's see. Oh, I have a, a fire starter and a, um, a whistle. What's that piece of flint? Oh, it's a piece of uh, mookite. That's cool. Oh, flint and steel set. Uh, let's see. What else? So, yeah. So, I, I sewed the pockets on. Uh, then I turned it inside out. Sewed it uh, with the fringe. I didn't cut the fringe until it was outside. Then I slice it with the scissors because I noticed with fringe it's really hard to 
It's just easier to do it when it's all one piece of leather uh, and then cut it when it's done because what happens is all the little fringe pieces get everywhere they get in your threads. And for thread, I also I just use that waxed uh, artificial sinew that um, that uh, it's like a, it's like a cotton thread. It's just really strong. I could have taken a bone awl and used buckskin as thread, but I'm not gonna. I, I just wanted to get it done, so I I did that. It's a lot easier. And this is a piece of uh, just cool nylon webbing. Uh, that was the very last thing I did. Um, so what I do actually is I super glue it on on the seam just so it stays and then I take it and I sew it with um, I use the black That's there's nothing fancy there. I always glue super glue the uh, knots too that I tie because I notice that artificial sinew slips But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a cool quiver uh, it Works really well. I just the one thing I wish I changed on this was making this pocket a little bit more 3d maybe even this one too just so I could put more things in there, but it's a quiver, it's not a backpack, so you know, I just it's really meant to just hold arrows um, and maybe a couple small things, so it works and uh, I don't have any regrets with it. Um, so it's pretty good. Oh, and then on the bottom there, there's that, so you can see I, I traced it with a ballpoint pen, which was stupid, but that'll wear out over time. Um, but yeah, so there's the quiver and uh, I hope that kind of inspires you to go out and make your own.